Hi friends, welcome to another video. This one is on my Dark Angels. This is the chapter organization and what each battle company is made up of. Uh, this is from back in the 7th edition, which was a couple of years ago. 8th edition came out last year. Uh, like a month from now. Maybe two. But anyway, um, this is what about 14,000 points, 753 power level of uh, Dark Angels looks like. Right, so, up front, I've got some rhinos, one still just primed. I've got some AA guns. My, one of my assault squads rolls around in that. Three predators, one still a work in progress. Two are old rescues. Um, one of these guys, and one of them drop pods. Over here, I've got a trio of Vindicators with a Crusader and a Tech Marine with four uh, servitors with them. Right here is my Librarium. I've got four jump troops, three regular infantry guys, three bikers, two termies, and Ezekiel. That's 100 uh, power level, or 1575 worth of points. Behind them, I've got my Deathwing Knights. Only one I finished painting was the Master. Apothecary, other Apothecary. This guy's the Ancient, but he doesn't have his banner. Two more champions. And then this is a squad. Termies that I picked up from another guy in a trade. These are some Kata. They all have chain blades and two heavy flamers in the back. Two assault squads in these. There are two assault cannons on these termies. The rest have power fish and storm bolters. These ones all have chain blades and plasma cannon. Who are got all my watchers, a couple other ones. Over here, I got my Raven Wing. This guy's an old school chaplain that I rescued. An interrogator chaplain, Tech Marine, uh, Praetor. Man squad. One knight with a cannon. Uh, this, these three here are the first ones I painted, so I kept them, so I knew where I started. But this is one uh, bike squad, and so a couple of plasma guns, and all the bikes have multi melters. And all six of those speeders have multi melter typhoons. Um, here's another two plasma guns, a maul, uh, combi flamer, two melters, two more melters, combi melta, power fist, two more melters, and then just bikes, one plasma gun. Uh, save a plot here. A vengeance there. Two shrouds. One, two jet fighters, and then Dark Talon, a couple of galleons in the back. And these are some heavy weapons and a squad of scouts. Come over here. These are the new Primaris guys. They're still a work in progress. I got five of the heavy. And five of the assaults. A chaplain and a lieutenant. Over here I have my fifth company in mass. Fifth company. 
So over here, all the vets have um, storm shields, plasma guns, and thunder hammers. Banner guy, champion, apothecary, interrogator, chappy. Two-man vet squad with storm shields, plasma pistols, and thunder hammers. Chaplain and Balthazar. Over here, you can see plasma cannons, plasma guns, and then the bolter guys. The assault guys are armed with two plasma guns and an eviscerator. Um, and then this. Two five-man squads of vets in the front as well with plasma and more plasma. And then the dives have plasma as well. And then jump shoots. You can see that. And then the dreadnoughts are armed with plasma cannons and missile launchers. Just a couple squads of attacks. Then we come back here and these assault troops were are from a guy up in Canada that I purchased part of his army from. And then these two, four, six, eight squads, they're basically tactical marines. Um You know, they're uh, the Heresy guys, so they're 20 man squads. They all have a flamer. Sergeants have combi flamers and power swords. And then in the back, I've got cunning bits that I gotta put together still in paint. I've got um, the missile launchers or the Havocs, or I mean the heavy bolters, depending on what I wanna do. And then we got. Twin flamers and power fists and twin assault cannons here. Um, this one's my girlfriend's night. And then here's those dark shrouds again. And yeah, they're mounted on rocks. So why the heck not? And then, just because they're out, I painted some blood angels for my brother. He's got an apothecary two tax squads and a scout squad and then his master. I already painted him a couple co squads, uh, three, four, four of the death company, all with jumps. But yeah, um, so this is basically what a quarter company, because it's like a third of First company, half of second company, all of fifth, all of third, and then part of fourth. Fourth is going to end up being a full on Melta, multi Melta company. Um, so the goal with this chapter build here is uh, I'm going to build up six battle companies. Give them each a squad of bikers, a squad of, you know, missiles or land raiders. Each of them gets a dark shroud and a vengeance. Each of them will get two squads, uh, two full squads of Deathwing and one squad of knights, a few librarians. Uh, so I've got six battle companies that I'm going to build up. And then once I get all six built, I'm going to be donating them to uh, a couple of different veterans organizations. So guys got some stuff that they can fight with and copies of the rules and all that. Um, but I'm a disabled veteran and I'm putting using my disability pension from the VA to buy this stuff. and pay for the place to put it together. I've got a huge crate full of stuff from years back still. So, um, so really I'm just assembling shit that I picked up over the years. And then I'm gonna donate it and 
give it to some guys so they can war with, and whether they sell them or keep them, I don't really care. Um, the art of patience, sitting and putting paints on these guys and watching the colors, you know, come across the figures is pretty fun. Um, and the warfare against my butt, my neighbors, uh, Necrons, or my other neighbors, you name the army, he's got it. Or soon to be against my brothers, Blood Angels. And I've also got, might as well show you, the Space Wolf too. Um, some of these are my buddies, uh, Imperial Guardsmen, as you can see. But I got like 64 wolves. That's going to be a Warhound. And yeah, um, Bug Claws, Grey Hunters, two packs of Grey Hunters, a pack of Blood Claws, a bunch of Lone Wolves, I don't really have much in the way of vehicles for the Wolves, so I got two of them. But this, this video is about the Dark Angels, so once again, here's the Deathwing. Putting works in progress, the Librarius, my Tech Marine and his guard. Start of fourth company, second company. third company and then my trio of knights keeping watch um, and overall just to give you a, a cap of what the points are the death wing over there they come to 199 power level 38 68 um, points the uh, raven wing here in the middle, they come to 236 power, 4,147 points. The uh, third company back there, they come to 94 power and 1,650 points. Fifth company with the plasma, they come to 142 points, their power, 2,984 points. My scouts are just eight of them, eight points, 218 points, or eight power, two point. Yeah, there's one assassin for five and 90, and then the knights are 69 points for 1304. For a grand total of 14,301 points of dark angels and knights, 753 uh, power. Next time I do an update video, I'll have another one of these trays. And I'll have put together a couple hundred Bolter Marines to flesh out the fourth, fifth, and sixth battle company. Uh, yeah, and added some more color to, uh, you know, these guys that are just primed or not even. Uh, finish the Death Wing. Ship and redo the knights. They're just color coded for two squads right now. And then these guys are all gonna get popped off their bases, and I've got some little MDF uh, bases. I'm gonna glue everything on so they're all uniform uh, across the whole chapter. Like you can see the size of the bases there. But anyway, if there's something you want to see closer up or whatever uh, let me know and I'll take some actual pictures and yes that's Lord Cypher right there um, the Harris Day guys the third company they run us fallen quite regularly quite regularly uh, that's what I got take it easy have a great day and well.